Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer on it's Thursday today, right? Yep, Thursday. I think I have the wrong date on there, though. Welcome to morning prayer on Thursday. Jody's not with us today. She's working on some projects, and so I am. I'll just be solo today. Um, let me pull up the other technology, and then we can get started. Takes me a little bit longer than Jody. <clears throat> All right, our prayer will start on page 77 in your Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, Please let us know, and we'll uh, we'll get one to you. We'll take about ten seconds and just kind of take a few deep breaths and get ready. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll flip over to pass the confession to page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The antiphon over on page 81. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Over to page 83 for Christ our Passover, and we'll read that together and then go back to that same antiphon. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin, and also to God and Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. Uh, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, for since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. We'll turn back to the antiphon on page 81. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, for him, alleluia. The psalm for today is uh, Psalm 37. We'll read verses 1 through 18, and we'll read them uh, responsively or together. <clears throat> That's page 633 in your Book of Common Prayer. Do not fret yourself because of evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light, and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself 
over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself, it leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked, the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out their place, but they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. The Lord laughs at the wicked, because he sees that their day will come. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. The little that the righteous has is better than great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the Back to page 84. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This reading is from Exodus. Then God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, for I the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments." You shall, not make, you shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work. You, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in your towns, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or male, or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When all the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, they were afraid and trembled and stood at a distance, and said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us, or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. People, Moses, knew God was the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll read Canticle Eight, the Song of Moses, on page eighty-five. <clears throat> Together, I will sing to the Lord, for He is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise him, the God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who, who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. 
the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second reading is from Colossians. I am now rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am completing what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is, the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that was given to me for you, to make the word of God fully known, the mystery that has been hidden throughout the ages and generations, but has now been revealed to his saints. To them God chose to make known how how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in all wisdom, so that, so that we may present everyone mature in Christ. For this I toil and struggle with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. For I want you to know how much I am struggling for you and for those in Laodicea, and for all who have not seen, my, seen me face to face. I want their hearts to be encouraged and united in love so that they may have all the riches of assured understanding and have the knowledge of God's mystery, that is, Christ himself, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I am saying this so that no one may deceive you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, and I rejoice to see you moral and fir- for I and I rejoice to see your moral and the firmness your morale <laughs> and the firmness of your faith in Christ as you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord continue to live your lives in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith just as you were taught abounding in thanksgiving the word of the lord thanks be to god Move over to Canticle 19, that's on page 94. Say that together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One, all nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let's see. Our third reading gospel is from Matthew. <clears throat> then Jesus was led up by the Spirit in the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. And on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again as it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. 
Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hey, I have Jody's Not Today Satan mug. Let's see, we'll turn to the Apostles' Creed on page 96 and say that together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. We'll pray that prayer in the right column. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. We forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We'll say suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let not your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the, world, the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for this week, the week of the third Sunday of Easter. O God, whose beloved Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's see. Collect for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm on page 100 now. We'll do one more collect. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the people of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bringing the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ. Lord. Amen. You can now offer your prayers and petitions. Who shall we pray for today? You can type them in the box, the comment box, or you you say them aloud for yourself and those in your household and for God. Pray for Ted and Ram Singh. Pray for my friend Andrew. For Jody, Montana, Gretchen, and Magnolia. Dorothy, Blanche, Joanne. Arlene, Tom, Preston, Marty, Tom.
Yeah, thank you, God, for spring rain. Who else should we pray for? For the baby pantry families, yes. For all those still working or returning to work, and for all those who are not able to work for whatever reason, especially for those who are laid off. Pray for Donald, our president, Gretchen, our governor, Jack Bergman, Jack O'Malley, Kurt Vanderwall. For those who are um, struggling with addictions and in recovery, for those who are battling mental illness, for all who are sick with COVID-19, for all on the front lines. Here's a prayer for in the morning. You can keep writing your prayers if you want. This is another day. Lord, I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. But if I am to do nothing, and if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Here's a prayer for the of the church on page 816. Everlasting God, whose will it is that all should come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, inspire our witness to him that all may know the power of his forgiveness and the hope of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. There are there other prayers out there? Here's a prayer for the president. Page 820 in the prayers. O oh Lord, our governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to your merciful care, that being guided by your providence, we may dwell secure in your peace. Grant to the President of the United States, the state, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do your will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness, and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in your fear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Here's a prayer for local government. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, send down upon those who hold office in this state in Benzi, in Manistee counties, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve in their offices to promote the well-being of all people through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And here's one for the poor and the neglected. Page 826. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget. The homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
we'll turn back to page 101 for the general thanksgiving together almighty god father of all mercies we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made we bless you for our creation preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our lord jesus christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory and we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Prayer of St. Chrysostom. On page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I hope you have a great day. We are going to make some, uh, do some canning today. We're gonna. We have a whole bunch of ramps in our backyard, and we're gonna can them, and make uh, also make pesto. I think if our pine nuts arrive. So, um, what are you gonna do today? I hope that you make a a day that you'll remember for a long time. Um, you are loved. We miss you. Um, be salt and light today. Peace. <laughs>